A flop happens when an album's performance fails to meet expectations. In this video, we'll look at 8 great albums that flopped. Charm Bracelets by Mariah Carey Released on the 3rd of December 2002, Charm Bracelet was Mariah Carey's ninth studio album. Despite debuting at number 3 on the Billboard 200 Albums chart, the album's first week sales of 241,000 copies fell short of Mariah's previous successes. Critics pointed out the album's lack of cohesion, which got it a mixed review, scoring a 43 out of 100 on Metacritic. The album failed to produce any major hit singles and struggled to maintain chart longevity. It spawned three singles, Through the Rain, which peaked at number 81, Boy I Need You, and Bringing On Heartbreak, which didn't even chart on a Hot 100. Charm Bracelet may not have been Mariah's most commercially successful album, but it still showcased her incredible vocal range. Smile by Katy Perry Katy Perry's Smile was released on August 28, 2020, amidst high expectations following the success of her previous albums. It was supposed to be her comeback album from a long hiatus. However, the album's first week sales of 50,000 copies in the US were significantly lower than Katy's previous releases. The album was preceded by two singles, Daisies, which peaked at number 40, and Smile, which didn't even chart on a Hot 100. The album received mixed reviews, getting 58 out of 100 on Metacritic. Even though it had upbeat pop anthems and good vocal performances, it failed to generate the same level of commercial success of her earlier work, which made it a flop. Despite its underwhelming commercial performance, it was still a good album. 20YO by Janet Jackson Janet Jackson's 20YO was released on September 20, 2006. Its title is a reference to the 20th anniversary of her most successful album, Control. However, the album's first week sales of 296,000 copies in the US fell short of Janet's previous successes. It spawned three singles, Call On Me with Nelly, which peaked at number 25, So Excited, which peaked at number 90, and With You, which didn't even chart on a Hot 100. The album struggled to maintain chart momentum and failed to match the commercial success of her earlier albums. Although 20-year-old may not have achieved commercial success on par with her legendary albums, it signaled Janet's entry into a new stage of her career, becoming a legacy act. Blue Bannisters by Lana Del Rey Lana's Blue Bannisters was released on October 22, 2021 to mixed reviews from fans and critics. It debuted on number 8 on the Billboard 200 Albums chart, with first week sales of 33,000 copies in the US, which was way lower than her previous albums. It was preceded by two singles, Blue Bannisters and Arcadia, which didn't do anything on the charts. Despite its lackluster commercial performance, it was received well by the critics scoring 80 out of 100 on Metacritic. In an interview, Lana said about the album, it's more of a defensive album, which is why I didn't promote it, period, at all. I didn't want anyone to listen to it. So it's no secret why the album flopped. Scarlet's by Doja Cat Doja Cat's Scarlet was released on October 3, 2023, to mixed reviews from fans and critics. Despite debuting on number 4 on the Billboard 200 Albums chart, the album's first week sales of 72,000 copies in the US were lower than expected, especially coming after Doja announcing on social media that her previous albums were cash grabs, insinuating that this one was her artistic album. But when it came out, it felt like nothing special. Even though the album didn't perform as expected, it spawned huge singles like Paint the Town Red, which was a chart topper, and Agora Hills, which peaked at number 7 on the Billboard Hot 100. While Scarlett may not have reached the commercial success that we expected, it still demonstrated her fearlessness. I mean, she could have totally lost her fan base with this. AKA by Jennifer Lopez Jennifer Lopez's AKA was released on June 13, 2014, debuting on number 8 on the Billboard 200 Albums chart. The album sold 33,000 copies in the US in its first week, becoming the lowest sales debut of her career. It didn't do well with the critics either, scoring 45 out of 100 on Metacritic. The album spawned three singles, Alaya Poppy, which peaked at number 77, First Love, which peaked at number 87, and Booty with Iggy Azalea, which peaked at number 18 on the Hot 100. This album fell like an older artist trying to fit in with the new generation and failing. Autumn Variations by Ed Sheeran 
Ed Sheeran's Autumn Variations was released on September 29, 2023 as his seventh studio album. It debuted on number four on the Billboard 200 with 62,000 album equivalent units, which was very low for the megastar Ed Sheeran. But that was understandable because it was the first album he released independently on his own label, Gingerbread Man Records. It only had one single, American Town, which wasn't even pushed by the label, so it didn't chart. This felt like an album Ed did for himself, without worrying about the commercial performance. With all that said though, respectfully, the album flopped. Austin by Post Malone Post Malone's Austin was released on July 28, 2023 as his fifth album. The album debuted at number two on the Billboard 200 Albums chart, moving 113,000 album equivalent units in his first week. He took a risk with this album, going on a full synth-pop direction. It spawned singles which performed decently on the charts, like Chemical, which peaked at number 13, and Morning, which peaked at number 36 on the Hot 100. But it is his least streamed album on Spotify with 1.1 billion total streams. Even though Austin flopped commercially, it further solidified Post's reputation as a versatile and boundary-pushing artist. What albums did I not mention? Tell me in the comments below.